Tharia. 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 All right, all right. We'll talk about it. Tharia, Tharja, Tarza, Tarya, Tharha, Waifu. Whatever you call this character's name, one thing is for certain. It has been highly debated ever since it was localized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to make matters even more difficult, her name has never actually been officially spoken by a voice actor or otherwise, so this doesn't help narrow anything down either. Even though we've had some questionable voice direction pronunciations in the past anyway. Takumi. Takumi. I'm going to preface this video by saying this. No matter how you pronounce it, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. If you like saying it a certain way, that's totally cool. It doesn't really affect anything. Don't let anybody else upset you by telling you that you're saying it wrong, say it however you like. However, in the midst of this grand debate today, I'm hoping to break things down a little bit further for you and see if we can truly get to the bottom of this pronunciation debacle. Let's start at the beginning. In Fire Emblem, almost every single legendary weapon, continent, and country is named after something mythological or derived from reality. They're not just made up names, they actually have real life roots and counterparts. Early on in the series, we had some classic Greek and Roman mythological references with character names like Mars, Minerva, Lachesis, and so on. Yggdral brought us a lot of Nordic and Irish mythological names, like a melding of Nordic and Celtic, such as Mistletane, Baldur, and Forseti. Magvel took it back to Nordic again with weapons like Siegmund and Sieglind, while Elibe and Tellius gave us some Arthurian name drops like Gawain. New characters like Athena and Horus added into the Arcanian remakes, as well as naming schemes and Awakenings versions of Arcania, Elise, also kept their Greek and Roman origins and stuck with the formula too. Then Fire Emblem Fates returned to Nordic names for the country of Nor, and took inspiration from Japanese mythology for the naming schemes of Hoshido. And even with the world of Zenith and 2017's Fire Emblem Heroes, we once again dive back into the Nordic and Norse mythology for its naming schemes. For example, Asker and Embla, male and female respectively in Norse mythology, were the first two humans created by the gods, essentially the Norse version of Adam and Eve. Even the brand new tomes and weapons in the game represent domains of Norse gods. Breidablik is the home of Baldur, Noatun is Njord's domain, Velaskialf is the hall of Odin where his throne resides, and so on. So clearly the naming schemes of Fire Emblem have a pretty consistently Nordic leaning, and that brings us to this character. Tharia seems to be a more Nordic or Scandinavian sort of name, and may be derived from the Germanic Tarja. If so, then it is a female Nordic name, the Finnish form of Daria. This would mean that the J in Tharja would be pronounced like a Y, Tharja. As another example to back this up, how would you pronounce the name of this character? Do you pronounce it as Kajel? Well, you might, but the correct pronunciation is more like Shell. Felix Kajelberg? Nope, Shellberg. Germans and Scandinavians generally pronounce J like Y. Tharja and Shell are both Scandinavian names. So, technically speaking, if the origin of her name is indeed Scandinavian, the correct pronunciation would technically be Tarja, but there is an extra H not present in the original name, so in Fire Emblem it would probably be pronounced Tharja. However, that's not the end of things. Her original Japanese name is Salya, with the romanization of the name being Sarya. I've seen many fans point out that it would then make even more sense for the J to be pronounced like a Y, to be similar to her original Japanese name, Sarya, Tharja, but this isn't exactly conclusive proof to anything either. The Fire Emblem Wikia makes the claim that her Japanese name, Salya, is a Hebrew name meaning princess. However, in actuality, Salya is a corruption of Sally, which is a Hebrew nickname for Sarah, and Sarah is the Hebrew name that means princess. Continuing down this path, though, also yields no leads, as if you pronounce Tharya using Hebrew, you can get anywhere from four different pronunciations depending on the dialect. Sarya, Salya, Tarya, and Talya. But there's also another possibility, even though it stands to complicate things even further. Tharya could also have origins other than the origins that we just discussed. It could possibly be a corruption of the Sanskrit Tharaja, meaning star with full glow. Character-wise, she's kind of the opposite of this, but bear with me for a moment. If her name is indeed an Indian name derived from Sanskrit, you would pronounce the J like an English J. You wouldn't pronounce Maharaja Maharaya, would you? No. So in this case, there is also the possibility that it could be pronounced as Tharja. <laughs> Sarya, being the romanization of her Japanese name, according to Google, 
also means princess in India, which could be some more backing evidence for those in this camp. Digging deeper, Rajat, a child character in Fire Emblem Fates that was a distinct throwback to Tharya slash Tharja, also muddies the waters a bit, as her name is indeed pronounced with a hard J, and she has actually had her name officially spoken. Though honestly, Rajat wouldn't really sound all that great anyway, so even if I was all for Tharya, I'd still probably stick with Rajat here. Rajat also sounds close to the male Hindu name Rajat, so if that continues to connect the dots for you, then perhaps it could certainly have more connections to an Indian origin. I've even seen some fans argue that it's just one of those names that Nintendo of America changed completely with no sound correlation to its original Japanese name, like Tiamo to Cordelia, and is thus pronounced Tharja, but it just remains confusing since it's somewhat similarly laid out to the original name. So unfortunately, there's not really a happy ending to this debate or this video. It all depends upon where you consider the origin of her name to be from. But like I said at the very beginning, it doesn't really matter. Say it how you want. The important part is that Tharya is my waifu, not yours. Fight me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little dive into mythology and name etymology with me here today. If you did, you know what to do. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. You can also get subscribed for more interesting content like this every single week, and be sure to support us on Patreon. Thanks to supporters like Noel, Caleb, Connor, Alexis, Norian, Rowies, Captain Titty Twister, Thantos, Josh, and Alex for making videos like this one possible. And the support also helps us to survive the constant pressures of the YouTube apocalypse, which, if you've seen my recent video on what's been going on, is causing a lot of creators trouble recently. If you want an even closer discussion, you can also join us on our public Discord server, where we tend to hang out a lot, by checking out the link in the description below. And also be sure to follow us on Twitter at Lucky Creek Gaming for news and updates revealed on the fly. And I'll see you all next time. Still hungry? Do you mind? Well? What are you doing? Ugh, get on with it. Really? We're not impressed. Die now. <laughs>